In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the text animation feature in LED Edit K version. For this tutorial, I'm not going into the basics of LED Edit K version. If you like to know the basics of LED Edit K version, please check out my previous tutorial. The links are in the description. I'm going to create a new project. The max number of pixels, in my case 1600, sorry, okay. I'm going to create a 50 by 32 rectangular shape panel layout. To create that, I'm going to use automatic layout feature. Alright, 32, the max number of pixels per port, in this case 1600. Uh, I'm going to click OK. I'm going to place the layout. I'm going to save and exit. Here's our layout. I'm going to the program tab and select the program and I'm going to the effect tab. The next step is to select a background animation to be played on the background of your text effect. You can select uh, animation from the library or you can open a video. Uh, I'm going to select open video and select uh, animation. All right. Here's a background animation. Click on enter text and in order to text to be displayed, check enable text input. Type your message that you want to display in this text field. I'm going to type my channel name. I'm going to add a second line. I'm going to align the second line to the center. As you can see in the background in your layout the text effect is playing you can change the speed of your text effect using this slider I'm going to slow it down to slow it down move the slider toward your right okay here you go you can change the horizontal portion of your text effect using this slider. I'm going to um, move this slider to the far right. So the animation will start from the right corner of the layout. You can change the vertical portion from this slider. I'm going to leave the vertical portion as it is. If you want to add an outline to your text, check outline. If you want to change the color of your outline click on outline color and select a color from the color plate you want to change the front color and front size click on front and color and select a front from this list you can select the front style from this list you can select the size of the front using this list you can strike out underline the text to change the color select a color from this list I'm going to leave this as default you can change the direction of your animation using these two radio buttons if you like to have a vertical scrolling check the vertical uh, scrolling radio button Change the horizontal portion to the far left uh, you have two mode monochrome mode which allows you to have only one color for your text the other mode is the full color mode which will mask your background from your text. Okay, I'm going to use the monochrome mode. All right, uh, these are the things you can do with the text animation. Another thing, if you just want to show a text without any animation, you can do it by moving the scrolling speed slider towards the end and changing the horizontal portion towards the far left. You can add Unicode characters to your text. Uh, search the Unicode character in the Google and copy it and paste it on this text field. You can just preview a message like that. Uh, I'm going to do a scrolling animation and I'm going to record.
As you can see the animation is now playing. Now it's time to recording. I'm going to click on recording which will start the record from the first frame. And as it reach uh, the 250th frame, I'm going to stop the recording. Now we have recorded the video. I'm going to check out what's been recorded. Uh, I'm going to close the video capture and I'm going to click on play preview button. As you can see, we have 256 frames. Well, the animation only have 253 frames. So there will be a overlap. I'm going to delete the unordered frames. Now beyond this frame, we don't need any frames recorded. Uh, it's 165. I'm going to click on delete and 165 and last the last frame as end and click OK. This is our animation. I'm going to play it twice. I'm going to copy the frames and I'm going to paste it at the end. Click on paste and I'm going to select the last frame. Now we have the animation playing two times. I'm going to use a still text at the end of the animation. Uh, I'm going to select a background animation has the same animation. Now I'm going to record this animation. Click on record. I'm going to record about 200 frames. Now I'm going to close the video capture and I'm going to play the animation. Okay, that's what has been recorded. That's it. This is how you use the text effect feature in LED Edit K version. Uh, thanks for watching. Okay, if you like the video, please leave a like. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Goodbye.